What's going on today guys? Today we have some more Forza Horizon 3 gameplay for you guys. This is coming exclusively from Xbox UK over at Gamescom, which is going on right now. And I wanted to showcase for you guys, so let's just jump into it. So firstly, you can probably tell there is a slight issue. Whoever decided to set up this live stream decided to stream it on Facebook, which is probably not known for the best gaming streaming site out there. So it's like 240p quality, which is just awful. Anyways, so we do have some gameplay, and I did want to showcase this because we do get into some very cool stuff. So, we've obviously got this race here going on right now, and we've already seen that. That was in the exclusive IGN gameplay, which we already cover here on the channel. If you missed that video, I will link to it in the description down below. It shows off that race, shows up some of the map. You can check that out. We did an entire breakdown. So let's skip to the end of the race and take a look at this. This is the new wheel spin. And we can see what you can win here. You can win some cars and some money as per Forza Horizon 2. So that's pretty cool. And then we will jump into one of, a, one of the very cool cars that's coming to Forza Horizon 3. Another one of the things that I noticed is that the loading screens don't actually seem to be super, super long. Anyways, pause the game, go into the difficulty. I think the guy turns it to manual. Yeah, he turns it to manual. And then he goes into the world map. So you get another look at the map here. So if you want to pause it on that screen, go ahead. And he, and he fast travels over to the left of the map. I believe that's where the airport is, and there are some other things there. So he's fast traveling. It loads up really, really quickly, which is nice. He's in this Polaris something. I, I, I don't even know what these are called anymore. But um, anyways, into the festival here, and we can see his garage. So we go in. He has five cars in his garage, including the Centen Centenario, and this wide-body Nissan 240SX. The thing looks... So good. I don't know what kit this is particularly on or what, what kit this is, but it looks to be a little bit of a rocket bunny in there. He's got some tire letters on the side of his car there. He's got the nice little duck tail. The thing looks insane. Look at that rear end. That looks unbelievable. We'll come around to that in a little bit, but holy shit. The wide body. He's got the roll cage in there. This thing is like straight out of need for speed. I've said for a while my perfect game is not a game that exists. This is getting close. It's like a mix of a lot of games. Like if you were to mix Forza Horizon 2, Need for Speed, GTA, it's getting very close to this. Look at that rear, rear end with those exhausts coming out the back. It looks crazy. Obviously, we don't know what type of engines in this car, but it, it sounds pretty good. I will shut up in a little bit because there's music going on in the background. Uh, sadly, I have to mute a lot of the audio in this video, but oh my god. We've obviously got him in the rain here, we've got some uh, some overcast there, and he's just gonna go and do some free roam in the world. He will go and do some drifting, I don't know actually who was driving, so if it was you... Hi, you're actually a really good driver. The guy who was driving this 240 was actually incredible, so he gets a little bit of a slide on. There's the interior look for all of you guys who play with the interior view. Holy shit, does it look good. And obviously... We're in Australia, right? So we're driving on the opposite side of the road. That thing looks like a tractor. It was actually a Polaris Razor, I believe. That was another one. We're driving on the opposite side of the road. If you are not European, or certain European countries. UK. Anyways, we're driving on the left-hand side of the road. Everyone's coming at us on the right. It's really, really confusing. We just saw him cross over the train tracks there. And we'll see the train in a little bit. You can actually get destroyed by the train. Obviously, we have the all the wildlife in this game now that you can go and crash into which i managed to do by accident you can also go and crash into the train if you feel like doing that so i know there's going to be a video where one i get in the smallest car in the game see how far the train can take me and then two take the biggest car in the game and smash into the train and see if i can like get it to come off anyways here's some drifting i'll shut up for a bit So that was a first look at one of the brand new drift zones that are going to be in Forza Horizon 3. So one of the things, if you played Forza Horizon 2, one of the things you may have, you may remember from that game is like speed traps and stuff like that. The whole point of speed traps was to go through it as quickly as possible while keeping your speed basically as high as possible. Drift zones is very similar, but you get points while drifting and then the person with the highest score wins. It's very, very cool. And that's your first look at one of them. It looks really, really good. Now we can see the train. The train is just off to our right there. We will get a little bit closer to it in a little bit. That's so confusing. I wonder how many people are going to be confused while driving on the opposite side of the road. Because, like, I don't know how many places actually drive on the left. 
There's the train. You can totally drive up there and crash into it. So, yeah. I want to see as well if you can land a car on top of the train, like GTA style. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. But, yeah, this guy's just driving around. And now we start to head in to Surfer's Paradise, which is the big city for Forza Horizon 3. The first time we've ever gotten a big proper city in a Forza Horizon game. It looks very, very cool. And in a little bit, you'll start to be able to see it off in the distance up there. There's the train. There's a level crossing. So, yeah, you can totally just smash into it. And what are we doing now? I don't remember what... Oh, yes, I do remember. He, op he goes and opens up drone mode. So this is your first look at drone mode, what it's going to actually be like. So obviously you can go up and down. It's exactly like photo mode, except you can go really, really far. Like, look at these guys. These guys are driving quite quickly. And the camera is keeping up with them. It's super, super smooth. It looks awesome. I am so excited for that drone mode. Some people out there, I'm calling out Domestic Mango, Joe Leach. You guys are going to put some incredible videos together featuring this drone mode i cannot wait it's it's really really cool in that drone mode obviously it works online and stuff like that i spoke about it in a video a little while ago so if you missed that i'll include that in the description as well if you uh if you do want to check that out but that is very very cool i'm excited for that obviously it works online and offline so if you're playing with your friends and you want to film something like crazy cinematic just go into drone mode and just start flying around and you can actually see like a drone in the air it is pretty pretty cool so anyways, now we're starting to head into the city, doing a little bit more drifting. We've got a nice little rainbow all the way back in the distance there. And then you can see Surfer's Paradise as we start to head in to the city. Obviously leveled up there, you could do another wheel spin, but they don't. There's a speed trap in the world. So yeah, speed traps are back, drift zones are back, speed traps, uh, or speed zones are back as well. There are also going to be jump areas. I'm not sure what those are called, if they're like big jumps or, or stunt jumps or... Or what but we'll have to see anyways drifting through the city here and heading into surfers paradise as we wrap up this gameplay hopefully you guys enjoyed again apologies for the really bad quality i don't know why they decided to stream it on facebook it was just like it was really really bad they should have done it on twitch or something like that so they could have got 1080p gameplay but eh whatever it's good i am excited i'm i, I can't wait for this game hopefully you are excited too if you are hit that subscribe button down below i'm going to be covering everything with this game so if you want to see more of it, subscribe, give it a like, and I'll leave you guys with some Surface Paradise gameplay. Just driving through the city. It looks so good. We've even got a tram in the city. I didn't even notice that before. But that's going to be pretty cool as well. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one.